What's cracking, Josie Garfunkel? Let's take a look at some shit. I'm just going to jump right into it. Boosting your types files and why we got to stop this practice. While it has its applications and all these bots are awesome, many of them have multiple tools, which make it so much more than simply a boosters tool. So for the ones boosting your stuff, you open your file, you look right here in the beginning, right? Okay, say you want to boost your file or server times three. You want to get some extra guns in there, right? Well, times in that AK-101 by three is only going to get you six of them. Times in your ACOG optic by three is going to get you 30 of them. None of this is too bad, but let's dive a little deeper. What if we search the hockey helmet? Let's take a look at the hockey helmet. There's 30 of them already. You times that by three, you got 90 of them. 90 black, 90 blue, 30 red, or my bad, 90 red, etc. What about your jackets? Let's take a look at the jacket. Oh, we don't have jackets. Let's try jacket. All right, 18 times three. Catch my drift. We're looking at 36. And it's just going to go up. Some of them have different numbers. But you're multiplying everything in this file by that 60. 60 hunting knives times three. So you're kind of bottlenecking some situations that are happening. So let's take a look at some other things. In your globals file, your spawn initial, 1,200. That's vanilla. These are all vanilla files that we're looking at right this moment. This is saying you can have 1,200 items on the server at any given time. Is this the exact definition? I don't fucking know. Does it matter? It's fully irrelevant. This is the interpretation, and this is from experience what happens when you mess with this number. The spawn initial. It's how many pieces of loot can be on the server. I'm not 100% sure if this includes the stuff from events, such as your vehicles and things. But your coats, your weapons, your types files, your types in general, this is how much can be on there. You need to bump that some. All right. You can run a high loot server and it can be clean and efficient, but you got to open some things up. So if the vanilla file, which has a lot more than 1200 items total, if you add them all up, I'm sure. No, I did not do the math. But the vanilla file is set up to run this way. So if you're going to boost your types file, you need to boost the spawn initial. But you're still just allowing more loot on the server to fill out what's there. You need to take it a step further, possibly. You don't have to. This is just what I do. Go into your map group proto. Your loot max. Some of them have multiple containers. Some of them only have one. But the first loot max is overall what this container or group or building, however you want to look at this. This is the max that it can have within it, period. That's it. Doesn't matter what the loot max is of the container. This could say seven. This is going to bottleneck it to three. It's not going to matter. You need to bump each container to desire, add them up, make the loot max equal the containers. For these other ones down here, let's see if we can scroll and find a quick example. All right, so here's an example. Loot max three, but it doesn't have loot max at all. So it can kind of just do what it wants, but it's still saying, hey, we can't have more than two weapons in the entire house. There's only two spawns for weapons to be in that entire house. There are four shelf spots, but it doesn't have a loot max. So loot can still spawn there. This one is maxed out at three. This is also saying that it's maxed out at three, but there's no loot max here. If you want to guarantee some things and kind of force some situations, you can add loot max to all of them. So if this one's already maxed out at two, Max this one out at the four that we see. This one already has the three, seven, eight, nine. This one up here will be loot max nine. And now we're telling it, hey, we're going to put nine pieces of loot in this house. You might not always get the nine pieces of loot, but you're allowing it to have nine pieces of loot. So this bumped number in your globals and all these extra multiplications you're doing in your types files, they have more places to go. And you'll see more efficient loot. Now, if you want to massage this out, you can check some logs, kind of see what's spawning, what's not spawning, what's in abundance. It's just, you know, check your report logs, kind of see what's going on in there. 
but you need to quit totally boosting the file. You're just boosting insane other items that are irrelevant items. The, <laughs> the IZ-18. Do you want to have 120 plus of those? Probably not. So what I'm recommending is if you're going to use a bot to boost the file, use it for decimals. Half loot it. Subtract the loot. Use it that way. Then go back in. Hand change weaponry and such but overall if you're looking to quote boost your file just do it by hand take the time take the couple hours take the couple days whatever it takes you to go through your file piece by piece and hand tailor this to how you think you want it if you've added a bunch of JSONs with a bunch of map group pause entries you might want to add a little bit more loot that way you get more floating through those items However your scenario works, these are just some tips from me so you don't have ridiculous amounts of the junk lying around also. Just go through and do it by hand. It's a lot easier. But that's going to be it for this one. I hope this helps some people learn some shit. I'm out.